Ethernet disconnected. That's an infamous error message on some of Cisco IP uh, terminals, and I'll tell you it's not disconnected. But here's some tricks if you ever come in run to run to this problem. There could be several uh, reasons. Um, one could be um, it's plugged to a power brick that um, uses an AC adapter, which it's not in this case. It's plugged on an Ethernet through power over Ethernet. Now, it could be another situation is, depending if you have Cisco equipment or, um, or other comp competing equipment, is that you could have an, a midline power, which means it's not inline, it's midline. So what in that situation is um, in your wiring closet, you may have a switch that um, a top row ports maybe use to power the device, and then the other ports uh, connect to um, the Ethernet um, or a pass-through. You could also have a power brick that could look like a power for Ethernet. The power injector is where you plug one um, to the network, the other one to, to power the device. You could have that actually centralized if you have the space and power requirements. The power over Ethernet can is the best option because the only power source it would be coming from is the switch. Typically through a single power cable if you use stackable switches, maybe a series if you have carrier class or modular. So again you, you'll notice that if ether, the Ethernet is disconnected. Um, like I said, this is on a power over Ethernet, so we're going to troubleshoot it, um, assuming with a power over Ethernet connection. So, first level troubleshooting is to check the jack. Use the Lego clutter, but um, right here there are two cables. Um, this one is um, supposed to be the power over Ethernet. Sometimes, depending on the way you have punched down the wire, the wire could be loose or it could be um, broken. And depending um, on your wiring environment, you may. Um, Depending on your wiring environment, you you the um where were the cables going? Whether it's on the floor, it could be through a ce you know throughout the uh, ceiling. Um, one one theory could be that the cable has been broken. Um, wire, you know, like what the the green or the blue or one of those wires are cut. So um, in, or it's loose. Um, and this drop, again, apologies for all the Lego in here, because this is my bedroom after all. Um, uh, one, one option is that um, the, sometimes the plug, I have to like uh, jiggle the plug, and that could alleviate the problem. So, um, I have two wires coming in the bedroom. Because one, I um, I I have gigabit Ethernet, and the other one for power over Ethernet, which um only goes to one hundred megabit throughput. So um, it's I I um, I I need to have two obviously because of that gigabit. I the need of having that gigabit Ethernet to help produce this program, which um which I stored a video on a server in the basement. So, um, and this is another, this is a shot and uh, the phone's still booing up. It does take a while. Um, when I plugged it in, it was about a minute or two, um, from that. Um, 
and again you see the ethernet is disconnected so I did a, a change where I had um swapped out a couple cables because I was trying to um fix um an ethernet problem where I had to swap out cables so I'm going to take you to the wiring closet and we'll um check if it's a cable between the patch and the data center so stand by please down here, um, we're at the, the wiring closet where you see a, a power over an Ethernet switch. This is the Nortel, which I had shown you in the previous clip. Um, it's, it's a nice uh, power over an Ethernet switch. It's probably about a decade old, or at least a software appears to be decade old. And um, um, anyways, um, it's it works that's 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 what matters so um, down here the bedroom connects to uh, these series of um, of uh, Ethernet drops Ethernet drops um, it's kind of disorganized because the cert first six is supposed to be the the lower level, this will be the living level in the kitchen. Um, this, these are redundant uh, for the printers so you can't see. This is a 24 foot, 24 port uh, um, patch. And then a couple goes to the garage, power void phones during warmer climates where, where you know, um, Arctic temperatures. So I haven't tried uh, running devices. Uh, an extreme temperature because it's unfinished and then right here um, this is some um, newer drops because I went VoIP in the house I used to have one of my uh, TDM system um, after it got killed in a thunderstorm I decided to go to full VoIP so you see green orange it used to be a cat by the cable split for, for digital telephony so again, where green is is where it's um, powering the phone. Now there could be a wiring problem, like I said, because it's interesting. It's here on the Nortel switch. It uh no. Actually, is that dual LED or is that? I can't see it from down here if that is a full dual because the, the dual LED is um, Ethernet plus power over Ethernet. So I think uh, maybe, maybe the cord was a little loose. Um, I'm going to try test calling the extension. busy out so that means it's not registered so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the cable and could be you might want to check one of the recommendations when you crimp Ethernet cables is check if you can see all the coppers it uh, saves you time and money from wasting plugs um, I get confused with the Ethernet tester I have because I, uh, the lights just the LEDs come on and I'm like, which one is which one is the right one? Which one is like the one that doesn't work? But um, I tend to do the check the copper if all the copper hits the. I could see it. this one looks a little loose. Um, cause I don't see the white brown as clear. So this might be a little shorter because I didn't um, crimp it in tight. So that's really important. So um, we'll check. This um, this one looks like this should work. Um, as you can tell, I, uh, the, the, there is a specific reason why the red, this is all red. Because I, um, I use red for the patch panel, anything from the patch to the switch 
is considered a patch. Okay. See, that does look like a little like key. And as you can tell here on my little uh, plywood board, I wrote out the color um, scheme. And there's some mixed colors in here just um, uh, for multiple reasons that I just have it mixed. The, the, the data center, which is in the other room, the main area, um, has, has um, it in yellow. It's consistently yellow. So we are going to boot up. So we're going to go back upstairs and check if the phone has been registered. And again, it is disconnected. Uh, so the next option is we're going to try it on another port and uh, plug it in there. Um, it's not this. I realized that one of these connectors, um, as, as uh, we worked in the data center or the wiring closet, there was a, um, I was getting the same message. So I started troubleshooting the wires uh, because um, one of the, the drops, um, when you see in that earlier clip, um, showing the, the two uh, cat flowers. One of them was to power my Zaya, or not power per se, but per power the, um, the uh, electronically to run the Zaya. And it was a complete eight wire environment. You bring a Zaya just requires two wires at a minimum. So what happened was I covered that what used to be a phone jack became my gigabit ethernet jack which was plugged into the the far right that where remember when you saw the phrase green um that was what was uh um set up and there you go you can see the the phone i, I want to show it in detail because it shows my personal information but overall you can see it is back to work um due to a wiring so again there's multiple there are multiple reasons why your phone may may not be may appear to run, but say Ethernet disconnected. It could be um, um, a power adapter that's not fully with a down um, network connection. It could be that your midline switch is um, working and uh, working, but it's not connected to the network or the network switch is down. Or it could be a power injector, an inline, an individual uh, power connector, which could be centralized in that same situation where you could have, uh, you could have the network down to have power, or a situation like I have, where I have a power over Ethernet, and I have a miswire, either a wire broken or a wire that's miswired properly which could give you a false positive so hopefully that this troubleshooting will help you um understand that so we won't run into this mistake again that's all for now bye